early morning Tbilisi Batumi train and got ready for the next part of adventure. Batumi is the second largest city of Georgia, located on the coast of the Black Sea. It's situated in a subtropical zone at the foot of the Caucasus. Much of Batumi's economy revolves around tourism and gambling. Its nickname is Las Vegas of the Black Sea. The weather in Batumi in the shoulder season is usually warm and pleasant. It can change pretty fast from heavy rain to sunny blue sky. The old town isn't very big, but it surely is a charming place to wander around. Originally, it was built in the 19th century, when Batumi was an important port along the route from the Caspian Sea to Europe, and many of the impressive buildings still date back to that time. Europe Square is the biggest piazza in the city, with a statue of Medea holding a golden fleece in her hand, as a symbol of Georgia's ancient ties to Europe and it's also a reminder of Georgia's cultural connection to many ancient civilizations. The square is fringed by a strange blend of architectural styles. Batumi rose into prominence at the end of 19th century, when a railroad from Tbilisi and a pipeline from Baku made it Russia's main oil port in the Black Sea. Hence, the many lavish neoclassical and Art Nouveau buildings from that period. The theater has a Greek facade and there is a large park with a Neptune fountain in front of the theater entrance. The entrance is guarded by two golden lions. Fresh coffee is always good. One of the top rated coffee speciality shop located in the historical building facing the theater square. The center of the old town is Piazza, the hidden square built in the Italian style with outdoor cafes, shops and the beautiful mosaic in the center, which is considered the largest marble mosaic in Europe. The composition of mosaic shows eight circles of various diameters placed onto each other that looks like a water funnel on a quiet surface. Marble for mosaic was collected in 15 countries and then been transported to workshop in Abu Dhabi to cut it and adjust it to entire picture. This grand corner building looks old, but it was actually finished in 2000. It's borrowed its unusual name from its founder, Georgian businessman Alek Galogre. It spread over two beautiful buildings just a step from Piazza Square. Normally, there is no heating system in the old buildings in Batumi, so this is one of the options not to get cold. Probably the oldest attraction in Batumi, the construction of Boulevard began in 1881, when the Russian governor of Batumi, Smikalov, is signed to create a park alongside the seashore. The boulevard stretches for 7 kilometers and ends up at seaport where you can see a lot of fishermen staying along the seafront promenade. The history of Batumi seaport dates back to the Roman Empire, when during the reign of Adrian, the port of Batumi was one of the most important points of the Roman merchant network. Nowadays, it's a free port due to location in the deep water, which allows large tonnage vessels, and no canal crossing to enter the port, which exempts the owner from paying the canal fee. If you want to feel Batumi, to see it from a local's perspective, you should visit the fish market on the main road near the port. It's exotic, cheap and delicious. Here you can find the freshest fish in the town, caught the same morning or even minutes before you buy it.
The White Sea from Promenade hugs the Black Sea shoreline, all the way from Lighthouse and Port to the bottom of Maria Kaczynski Park. The boulevard area comprises of series of walking and cycling paths that thread their way through manicured gardens, past recreation zones and clusters of cafes. When Batumi was part of Imperial Russia, the boulevard was put to promenade with your parasol. There are dozens of sculptures scattered along the seafront, many of them romance-themed. Octopus is a massive three-dimensional Soviet-style mosaic sculpture built in 1975. You can find it on the promenade in front of Hilton Hotel. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.